Hey guys, and welcome back to Signalis. I hope everybody is doing well on this day. Let's go back to the south corridor, shall we? And see if we can't have a little gander at what's left. I mean, this replicant down here might be worth taking out, but... I was going to say, all the time we can just slip past her. We don't really need to worry about such things, but... Maybe it would be a good idea to actually take her out. Unfortunately, we're almost done with this area. Right, let's run. Hello. How's it going? Oh, this is Eul. I don't know how you say that name. Everybody's turned weird. I'm the only one left, I think. Will I get sick like the others too? I'm scared. I don't want to die. This is interesting, considering these, these guys are replicants. I wish we could find out more about them. You look kind of familiar. Have we met before? At first, it was only Commander Falk who felt ill. Slowly, everybody started behaving strangely. I'm too scared to go outside. I don't want to succumb. Uh, I don't want to become like the others. Well, I don't want to die. And then she just says nothing. Yeah, interesting. These are really, really interesting androids. Memorandum. Wolfsafe codes. It has come to my attention that at least one worker might be aware of the code broadcasting frequencies for the protector Wolfsafes. Any workers connected to this leak are to be interrogated until the culprit, culprit is found. I'm restricting all radio privileges for workers until further notice. Adler. Adler, eh? So, this one is the sword safe. Notice that we have uh, buttons here. And not... Uh, we have numbers on these buttons. Or letters, rather than numbers. Get with the program, Titan. Jesus. So this is where the fuck factor of this comes into play. So, the frustration with this one is we need to go to our diagnostics and let's have a look sword so we need to look at this sword analysis here and I'm gonna get me a scrap of paper and I'm gonna write that down so it's a n b H S R Z something K E and on the opposite we've just got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, zero. Now, obviously, the number uh, corresponding is still the same. It's just the letters that are kind of fumbled up. So, what we need to look at is frequencies. This very useful bit of paper here that I didn't find on my first playthrough. That's two, three, three. Now, a lot of the guides that I looked up gave different frequency numbers. Which also added to confusion. And they all gave different numbers as well. Which was even more irritating. So, what have we got? 5, 9, 7, 8, 3. And that was 5, 9, seven eight three so what that means is five is s 
9 is K. 7 is Z. 8 is question mark. And 3 is B. So what we need to do here is go back to the safe and actually before we do anything let's turn our bloody safe uh, our receiver off right so it was s k z question mark now what we have to do here is look and see what letter is not actually on this thing so we have a we have we don't have n we do have n this might be wrong actually I might have done this wrong This would be interesting. Do we have F? Right, so F isn't on the number. So if we click F and then B. No, that is right. Okay, so this keypad is not what's on the note. But that doesn't matter. Apparently. The note is correct. The keypad is wrong. Yeah, interesting little puzzle, that. Definitely a game that encourages pen and paper, and I like that. Alright, what do we got here? So, we have the incinerator room key. And we have the edict module. Now, this edict module is kind of interesting. An old photographic memory module. It allows recordings of up to six individual memories incredibly outdated but still might be useful so we can equip that and we can take photographs of things i haven't found a use for that but i mean it's there i guess right anyway let's go to the incinerator room that we can basically just drop off anywhere now Can't go through there, and my cat has jumped up on my computer. We can't go through there. Cat, off. Thank you. Computers are not for cats. Doesn't matter how many times I remind him of this fact. He doesn't seem to care. He just looks at me. He's like, "Yeah, I'm what? What are you gonna do about it?" Prick. All right, let's go the other way around. Let's go the long way around. Let's see if our friend's got up yet. Oh, friend's still chilling. See, it's really strange because sometimes they'll get up really fast. And other times, I guess, they're just happy to chill out. Okay, so let's jiggle some junk around. We don't need that. We do need the incinerator key. Now, hopefully... Let's drop another save. Why not? Keep the save party going. And get the hell out of here. And we can go straight on through as well, which is kind of nice. Now, the incinerator key. We've already been through there. Right. We need the key at the end. Through the morgue. So our friend... Kinda just chilling. Oh. That's okay. Come on you. Keep walking. Don't block my door. 
Yeah, those guys aren't really much to worry about. So here we're in the incinerator key. Uh, the, using the incinerator key to get in here. So we have thermite flares. These are interesting. Proper disposal of corpses. So, from uh, Eula. My, as you've probably heard, there have been multiple accounts of bodies of decommissioned protectors spontaneously reactivating and acting in a defective manner. Based on November's autopsy report, it seems that all affected units showed some sort of cancerous growth in their organic components. According to her, unless completely incinerated, this growth may reactivate the replica even after it's been dead for hours so that's what's going on we don't know what causes this and we're unsure of who's affected we can't keep up with incinerating all the bodies we're just two incinerators that constantly need recalibrating so we're improvising these thermite flares are able to melt through the replica armor and burn the organic components from the inside i've requisitioned more of them but there was some paperwork missing, so we have to wait a little bit longer. Junie. Yeah, so these flares, we can burn bodies and it will permanently keep the bodies destroyed. A self-ignited handheld chemical pyrotechnic stick burns extremely hot for a short duration, can be used to incinerate enemies. Um, and obviously, if we burn the bodies of the replicants, they don't come back. So it's kind of useful, really. And if you guessed the fire key would be in here, you'd be right. But we have a problem. The incinerator is on, apparently. And we need to put it out. So, this puzzle's kind of interesting. If we just fire the incinerator, you can see that we have a problem. We need to replicate this line by getting the CO2, the gas, and the O2 in the correct uh, ratios. So... If we look here, that means we need more CO2. If we look here, it means we need less gas. So I can't remember which way we have to turn these things. can't remember which way is which so we still need more co2 um, maybe it's the other way try that is less is is left right so left is more so we need to turn this way for gas. Let's say go, I don't know, there. And we need more oxygen. Let's put oxygen like here. See what happens. It's not quite, not quite. Okay, so it's just the oxygen. We need more. More oxygen. Come on, let's fire this puppy up. That's looking good. There we go. Spot on. Perfect. So now, somehow, if you get the air mixture correct, that somehow puts the furnace out. I don't really understand how this works. But anyway, that gives us the fire key. So, cool. Everything's good. Everything's golden. Let's get out of here. And our replicant friend is still right in the way. Get out of here. We don't want to fight you. But what we need to do now is go put the last key in the slot. And that sounds like a good time. Oh, hi. Hello. That was unfortunate. That was extremely unfortunate. So we've got the fire key. Thermite flare? Um, maybe. Maybe. 
Oh, come on, woman. Honestly. That's really naughty of you to just stand there guarding that door like that. Well, we made it to where we need to be anyway, so let's throw in the fire key. Excellent. And we're throwing in the fire key. We've um, encountered another save room. What could possibly be behind this incredibly difficult to open room? Lots of ammo. Another save room so soon. Curious. Isn't that curious? What could possibly be a little bit further on? Um, let's drop the thermite. And in fact, we're going to drop the 10 mil. We'll keep the repair patch. We're going to keep the shotgun shells. Let's grab the shotgun. Gee, I wonder why we're doing this. Uh, the revolver ammo. Now, that revolver that's in the x-ray machine, I don't know if we can actually grab it. I'm not sure. So, we have shotgun shells. We've got two of those. Might take another couple of them. Do we want those, though? Honestly, I don't know. There's a reason we want to clear as much as possible here. Which will be pretty obvious when we get to the next bit. Let's drop a save. If you guessed, gee, we're about to have our first boss fight, you'd be right. And if you're saying to yourself, gee, I bet the bosses are pretty hard in this game, you'd be right. So, looks like we can drop down. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on here. But, all I know is this is gonna hurt and it'd be great if I could pick up the ammo and weapons and things that are dotted around here picked up some shotgun shells which is rather fantastic there's also we can't hold any more shotgun shells isn't that fun now the rub here is we need to wait for oh it's so difficult to pick things up it's so difficult. We need to wait for her to, like, reload, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what the rub is. And we want to grab all of this stuff, because the first time I came here, into this area... Right, she's going to reload. And this is the only time you can actually do damage. Oof. You can't actually damage her outside of that. You have to wait for her to kneel down. All right, unfortunately, he's now going to wake up some drones. That's okay. We can handle that. Now it appears that once her drones kind of go down, sometimes that triggers her to reload. Right, we can't grab any more 10mm ammo either, which is unfortunate. But it does mean we've min-maxed everything we possibly can here. Right, we just got to wait for her to go down. There we go. Missed that one. There we go. Come on, you bitch. Huh? What do you think of that? She's done. That's actually quite a 
challenging boss if you don't know what you're doing. Ah, Adler. A visitor. Welcome to our facility. You've caught us at an unfortunate time. How can I help you? I'm looking for a gestalt. A worker at our facility? Let me see that picture. Alina Seo. Xiao, however you say it. I believe she's one of our factory workers. However. Yep. <laughs> He's a baddie. You shouldn't have returned. So what is he up to? A dream about dreaming is one thing that I picked out of that. I must have fallen asleep whilst waiting for Erika. Did she already go home without me? We wanted to get some books from the library together. I should check, see if she's still there. So whatever planet we're on is freaking cold. And it looks like um, our friend got her wish and she actually uh, transferred to a proper school in the city. So these are kind of like memories or something. I'm not, I'm still not 100% sure what's going on in the story. It's really weird. It's a little bit pretentious, but the game itself is good. And what's kind of interesting here is it looks like even replicas seem to have to go to school. Also, if we look here, we're obviously not the first replica that's been thrown into this elevator. Interesting. So let's have a little look around. Ah, save room. Excellent. Now, whatever we don't pick up, hey, maintenance key, whatever we don't pick up in that boss room is gone. Because obviously we can't go back. So that's why I wanted to empty out pretty much everything we have. Because there's no way, I mean, 20. Oh, so apparently we can only actually hold 20 bullets. I thought it was 30 bullets in one slot, but it's only 20. That's not a lot. Shotgun shells, we can hold 10, I believe. Which, again, that is really, really quite quite low. Um, so, maintenance key. Actually, that makes sense because it's three... You can have full th uh, three full loads of ammo. So, that's basically one full load in your gun and then two spare reloads. That's all you can have. So we're going to put those back. We're going to put the repair patches back. We will take out our trusty handgun. We have the maintenance key. And that's that. Right, and we can pick up this repair healing item, which we don't really want to cart around with us. So, let's drop a save there, guys. And when we come back, we have um, a new area to explore. We're in the protector area now, which is probably an indication of uh, rough times ahead, <laughs> to say the least. But thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.